So I'm just now writing this story hours after the most insane moment of my entire life. I know that may seem a bit dramatic, but at the moment it was absolutely insane. My family and I just arrived at our campsite for the week and I'm on eggshells looking over my shoulder every two seconds even though deep down I'm sure I'm alright. So bear with me as I try to do my best that I can to tell this story since it's the first time I'm recalling it since it just happened. So late last night, me and my family left our house to embark on our one-week camping adventure. Our two kids were so excited to finally be able to join me and my wife on one of our camping adventures, and she and I had gone on all sorts of adventures over the years, but we wanted to wait until our kids were just a little bit older before involving them. Finally, that time had come for the kids to join us, and we set out on the seven-hour drive a little after midnight. After the initial excitement of leaving and the musical concert inside my truck was over, everyone fell asleep in the truck except for me, which is fine. It gave me a chance to listen to one of my audiobooks that I had been neglecting for some time. I was surprised when we were close to our destination and I realized that my family had mostly been asleep for the entire drive. They would have brief moments of waking up and asking where we were, but they mostly stayed out cold for the entire trip. About 30 minutes until we reached the campsite, I got the dreaded flat tire that no driver wants to get, especially when on vacation. I was lucky to have my spare, so this was no more than an inconvenience, but I was still annoyed. I remember being scared as I briefly lost control of the car and slid to the side of the road before I regained control. Somehow, my family was still asleep. I quietly got out of the truck and uncovered the spare tire buried under all of our luggage. And while preparing to fix the tire, I started to wonder what I had hit. The flat tires seemed to appear out of nowhere and for some reason I felt suspicious. I got the damaged tire off and replaced it with a spare. I was just finishing up changing the tire when I heard the light sound of someone clearing their throat. It sounded like my wife, but when I turned around, I was greeted by a small woman with wild dreadlocks and a tattoo of a rose on the middle of her neck. I said hello in a tentative and confused voice. The woman smiled and she said in this sort of delicate voice, Hi, I'm Summer. You look like you could use some help. I just smiled and said, "Uh, Thanks Summer, but I, I think we'll be okay. I was trying to be polite, but I was not feeling great about this situation. This woman kept looking to the side of the road like she seemed to be communicating with someone, but... Whenever I looked over there, I didn't see anything. She kept on insisting on helping, never changing this nice and polite voice that she had, and I just kept saying no thank you. Eventually, I started to pack up the tools and get myself ready to hit the road, and that's when this woman said, I think you really need my help. And then her voice changed sort of instantly. It wasn't this polite and delicate little voice anymore. It was angry, and almost a vicious voice as she said, Let me help you. I was not having any of this anymore. I turned to the woman, and in the meanest voice I could muster up, I said, Okay, lady, you need to leave. I got a family in the car and I'm not in the mood for all this crazy crap. If you don't leave, I'm calling the police right now or I'm taking care of this myself. I thought that my threat might do the trick, but instead... She just starts to laugh. I had enough and just turned around while she was laughing. I opened the driver's side door and put my keys in the cup holder so all I had to do was push the start when I entered the truck. When I turned back around to grab the lug wrench, which is that cross-shaped wrench if you don't know what I'm talking about, I turned around to the woman and she was about in mid-swing with this lug wrench, haphazardly attempting to strike me, presumably in the head. She didn't seem very lucid and I was able to catch the blow with my hand and I ended up just kicking her in the knees and shin I guess and she fell to the ground. She started grunting and then began to run to the side of the road that she had kept looking at earlier. At this point, without wasting any time, I get in the truck and I just sped off as fast as I could, constantly checking my mirror for any sign of this woman or any car following me. And thankfully, the last 30 minutes of my drive went by with no crazy people or issues. I did tell my wife when she woke up and 
she was angry that I didn't just call the police right away, and she honestly didn't believe me. She called as soon as we got to the campsite and gave the police this entire description that I had told her about the woman. The name she gave, the tattoo, and exactly the road where she confronted me. I can't help but feel that the woman is going to find me and my family at this campsite. She clearly saw that I had camping gear in my truck when she confronted me. I didn't realize it until later, but now I can't help but think that she was somehow responsible for causing that flat tire. But clearly I have no evidence to back that theory up. I'm going to try and enjoy my trip, but I wanted to get the story out while the details were clearly in my head. Now I can't stop wondering what it is she wanted. Does she want my truck with that spare tire? Does she want to rob me? Or was it something much worse? Wish me luck on my trip. If anything happens or any new developments come to light with police or something, I'll be sure to update everyone, but until then, I hope I never see that woman with that rose tattoo ever again. If you enjoyed this scary story, listen to thousands more, either over on the Let's Read YouTube channel or podcast.